What's up, boys? Callsign Grammy here. Welcome to DCS 2024 and beyond. My reaction to the newly released Ego Dynamics trailer for what's to come this year, and of course, as the name of the video implies, beyond. So I'm excited about this. We're gonna play it through. I'm gonna share my thoughts and kind of reactions to whatever it is they're gonna showcase in this um, uh, video release and this trailer release. Um, so let's jump straight into it. As uh, always, we should have an intro from Nick here, who, by the way, am I the only person who thinks that Nick could actually give Morgan Freeman a run for his money in terms of voiceover work? Nick has such a profound voice. Let's jump into it, boys and girls. Here we are on the Super Carrier. Hi, this is Nick from Eagle Dynamics. What's up, Nick? And welcome to 2024 and beyond. I'm excited. Game looks beautiful. This coming year, we'll see. That Chinook. Yes. Functionality Let's go. Yes. Cannot wait to get my hands on that Chinook, man. It'll be the first time I'll do supply missions for sure. DCS truly is a community success story, entirely driven by your passion and vision. We share your ambitions and hopes for the future of digital combat simulation and embrace the tough challenges ahead. There it is again. Look at that thing Thank swooping you. in. All of you. Love it. Unwavering support. And thank you for making our dreams come true. Hey, man. Thank you, Nick and Wags and everybody at Eagle Dynamics for putting in the hard work for us. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some old school. Uh, the Warbirds on the carrier. Is this a TZ? I don't do any of the old Warbird stuff, so I, I, I don't really know too much what's going on, on that side of DCS. But uh let me know down below if this looks like something that's new coming for you guys that do the old school stuff. B-52 bombers. Okay. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out. Leaning pretty heavy into the uh warbird stuff. Prowlers. I believe the prowlers, right? Yeah. That's a great shot right there on the carrier takeoff. Pretty cool. Really, really cool. Oh, we got some archival footage. That looks very Vietnam-y like, or it could be one of the other maps, but to me, it looked like that. More Phantom work right here. Could be another great module coming out soon. Okay. Oof. Those big carpet uh, bomb uh, runs right there. Quite a bit of arch archival footage, I think, unless they purposely made it look like that. Nothing too crazy so far. Let's see. Raiding the beach. That's very interesting. I'll, I'll, is that like a reason why they're showing us that? That's definitely Vietnam. Definitely. Be, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot going on right now. Oh, oh, it looks so juicy. That's a new chopper right there. That's my baby, the Apache A10 Viper. Oh, we're inside. Is this the Chinook? That might have been the inside of the Chinook, perhaps. Got that Phantom. I guess they're introducing, uh, well, there's the CH-46. Oh, 
Black Shark, A10. Well, there is our 2024 and beyond DCS. Okay. To our dedicated community, partners and friends, thank you. We make our dreams come true. Awesome. Love it. Anything else I got here? Are they going to do a little end of the video tease for something else? Yes, we're going to get something here. What are we looking at here? Coming to DCS in 2024. Is this going to be Vietnam? Let's see. Iraq, no way, <gasps> yo, oh my god, and joining Red 4 in full fidelity is going to be the Fulcrum, wow, wow, let's, let's kind of skim through this from the beginning here, just kind of recap uh, a bit of what they just teased over here. Wow, we're getting we're getting Iraq. We're getting Iraq. That is going to wow, that is going to be incredible for mission creation. The level well, let me save that for when we get back to that. Uh we start off with the uh aircraft carrier here, super carrier. Um looks all good. We get a bunch of different shots here. You know, the beginning of it opens up very, you know, uh nothing out of the ordinary, just highlighting some of the beauty of the game. We got a great shot right here in the airfield. Um, you got choppers low, we got a uh a uh, bird up top here moving around we get a look at the ch46 here with the tanks which is incredible i am excited about the ch46 um me in the marine corps when i was in the air wing you know this is a, a aircraft that was on on the base at miramar in san diego every day going on the flight line to see it there so it just brings back so many memories and uh and flew on it uh quite a few times so it just brings brings back very nostalgic memories of my time in the service so i'm definitely looking forward to having that module in the inventory to actually start to do some uh supply support missions which i don't normally fly myself um but i, I will with this thing you know what i'm saying i'll throw a, a marine skin on it and uh we're gonna go out there and do some stuff another great shot right here i mean you can see the staging grounds and everything the tanks lined up su uh, supply vehicles and and obviously the ch46 is probably bringing in and out stuff great shot right here you know um love this very very exciting stuff uh we'll, we'll kind of keep panning through here we get a shot of this i don't know and if you guys recognize was this a tease for another map or is this an existing map i'm not quite sure uh, one thing you know i don't uh scrub the dcs forums and stay in the loop on all the little things in the rumor mills so you guys have to excuse me if i'm not up to date on stuff like that but that's why this is a community thing. You guys can let me know if I miss anything and say, hey, Grimey, this was that. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I'm glad you pointed that out. Um, a lot of Warbird stuff. There's definitely a lot of Warbird old school playing stuff. I don't fly this, as I may have mentioned earlier at all. I just don't have, really have a, too much of an interest in it. Maybe I should try it out at least. But I think there might be some stuff in there that they previewed that is going to be new for you guys that actually like the old school flying uh, on those kinds of aircraft and stuff. Um so that was pretty cool to see those are highlighted pretty well um we get more just great uh, shots you know the director here i i think this was an actual tease they're going to be introducing on the super carrier um more personnel they're going to guide you onto the uh uh onto the uh, cat so i think this was a tease for that he says director here he's clearly like pointing the aircraft into a direction so i think this was a tease for that and you can see behind here um to our left is looking on the screen here uh there's more uh, figures back here along those aircraft so uh that is a tease for for that introduction in addition to the super carrier module which if you don't have the super carrier module the next time dcs has a sale i, I would highly recommend grabbing it it is one of the 
it, it is one of the best modules to have simply for the naval operations aspect of it taking off on the on the uh super carrier and an 18 or a tomcat <clears throat> um it's just so much fun to go through that sequence it's so unique uh, another great shot here of the ch46 doing a kind of spin around right here super clean with it too um we got some more formation flying they showed the cockpit of something right here, which I have no clue what it is. Maybe this. Okay, so I see the Russian uh, um, language and lettering on some of the stuff. So don't know if this if this ties into the fulcrum that's teased at the end, or if this is for something different. Let me know down below as well. Uh, we'll see. We're kind of skipping through here. We get into the next segment. I thought this was interesting right here. Again, we see a lot of those old school aircraft on the. Um, the deck of this aircraft carrier, very, very much old school. So, you know, I wonder if they're going to introduce any of that stuff. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. We also get a shot of this. Uh, this doesn't look familiar to me. It, you know, I don't think it's the Marianas. Um, I could be wrong, but this was kind of a unique shot. And I wonder what this is for. Let me know down below if you guys know what that is this is what kind of a map it is if it's an existing one or if it looks like it's gonna be something new that they're teasing clearly you see the boats in there uh the ships in there rather uh we get some more excellent shots right here that background all that green you know again i'm really curious about what setting this is in and just by looking at the ships here you know era wise that definitely looks uh I don't know. Is that not Vietnamish area? Perhaps I might be wrong. Uh, let's we'll see. We got B fifty two bombers. They showed the B fifty two quite a, in a, quite a few different scenes throughout the DCS uh, video here. I'm curious if they're going to introduce that at all as a, a player option to fly, or if it's just going to be a uh, AI thing. But we saw quite a few uh, shots of that. So we got some uh, Sam site takeoffs. Were pretty cool. More old school aircraft. We got the Prowlers here. Um, I know right now they have them in here. I believe they have them in the game uh, as AI only. So again, you know, will this be something down the road they allow people to actually fly themselves? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got here? More naval ops on the carrier. The, the, and then one thing I found interesting was their introduction. I'll play this part right here. Their kind of inclusion, rather, of very uh, old school footage. Now, here's the thing about here's the question I have about this. Let me pause it. Is this looks like it could be archival footage? But what I re actually think this is, I think this could actually be DCS in game footage that they use filters to give it the old school look. And uh, this could be maybe a tease for something. Maybe it's a tease for the Vietnam. Again, I'm totally speculating. I have no knowledge of anything. I could be talking out, out of my butt right now, but it's it's wishful thinking. That'd be super cool if it was. All right, let's keep going. We're going to keep going into more aircraft shots. Pretty cool. Then we get this shot again of um, uh, looks like some aircraft on the ground are getting uh, uh shot at bombed on and stuff like that again the island here this this map could be marianas but maybe it is something different not sure uh let's see what else we got here we also go into some more footage of um this right here again it look it, it's meant to look very like archival but i i i wonder again if this is actually dcs footage that they filter to give it the old school look you know and for, you know, what purpose? Phantoms showed up a couple of times throughout the video, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really wondering when that'll become available. Uh, I think right now we know that the F4 is is being worked on and it's somewhere nearing probably uh, completion for release. And we know that the CH46 has been, be has been in development. Um, I think for sure we see both of those in 2024. It's just a matter of when each of those comes out, uh, you know, one maybe comes out in the spring and then maybe one later in the year towards the uh, la latter half of the year, perhaps. Uh, more B-52 bombings. We see the F-4 with the carpet bombing. Looks like right here. Very Vietnami like And we've got more of these shots here of, again, meant to look very archival. 
I just find that very interesting. And, and I, you know, one thing about DCS I've learned is that they're very intentional in the stuff that they put into their uh, DCS, uh, you know, whatever year and beyond videos. It's very intentional. Um, perhaps, you know, those are even just Easter eggs for stuff. They, they tend to do that, especially Wags. When Wags does his uh, tutorial videos, there's always Easter eggs in it. It's always fun to go in there and and, and uh, pick apart it and see what you can find that's... Uh, that is something that is uh was laid in there for us to discover so yeah more of the same stuff lying around old school I, i'm willing to bet that this is actually all in-game footage and they just yeah I, I really am starting to believe that the more the more and more i see this all right this definitely looks carpet bombing tanks cool stuff let's skip ahead um, what else do we have that we thought was interesting? Uh, I think, uh, I believe that's the Kiowa. I could be wrong. That was pretty cool to see that little thing. That little thing looks like, looks like it's, uh, looks like a lo lot of fun to fly. looks like a lot of fun to fly. So I think that is the Kiowa perhaps. Um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to that thing being released. Uh, have no clue when and if that's going to happen here. We get an inside look of an aircraft. I think, oops, I think that this could be, let me go back there. I th think this could be the, uh, CH 46. So what I'm was, is my best assumption here. I don't quite, you know, I never, I was never in the cockpit of a 46. Um, uh, so don't know if that's what it, looks like but just seems like it might be that all right we got more shots of those we got a 46 here love to see it my baby the apache there we get the black uh shark there uh let's see what else stood out some more old school stuff phantom shots looks which look great old school stuff i think we're going to skip along to the back end here where we get the tease right here of this new map coming in 2024 and uh this is going to be this is going to be pretty major this iraq map um is going to be pretty incredible it's going to be pretty incredible automatically in my mind the first thing i am thinking about is within this map is really going to town with um Missions that are involved around like close quarters in the terrain, in the trenches, you know, very, very difficult level of missions because I mean, look at the terrain here. Look at look at the, you know, the mountains and the landscape. That's what made that terrain very difficult to fight in and stuff. So I, I think there's a lot of room to one. People are going to recreate actual battles that took place in Iraq. So there's like the historical angle to replicating uh desert storms and stuff like that which is going to be incredible um people are going to come up with their own original missions and and so on and so forth but that terrain is going to make it really really incredible and i think this is going to be a great opportunity to lean into the combined arms modules to even further that experience i i mean i almost want to uh play this in and go into the tanks and do more of the combined arms aspect of it. Cause I just think that the landscape is going to provide an, an, a fabulous experience. So we're going to get Iraq. And I mean, just look at the shot right here. I mean, look at the peaks, the valleys, the mountains, just incredible terrain to uh, fly over uh, to deal with and find enemies. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult, but man, it's going to be gratifying and super exciting that we're going to get this. Um, funny enough, even though we have the, we know the F4 is coming, there hasn't been any mention of a Vietnam map. I, I believe they said that it's something they are going to do. Um, I would have thought that maybe they would have came out with that in parallel with the F4 Phantom, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing on that front right now. Uh, we've got another great shot right here. I mean, look at that. That looks phenomenal. That looks fun. I mean, you're going, you're doing, you're doing air to air, you know, and uh, you guys are jumping in between the valleys, flying in there to, you know, egress. 
or whatever, where you're getting chased, you have to duck down low, and now you guys are chasing each other down in the valleys. It's going to be incredible flying opportunities. That looks so amazing. And then, of course, right here, uh, if we go back a scene, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Combined arms on the Iraq map, I think is going to be uh, top tier. I think it's going to be top tier opportunities uh, to do some really good combined arms. If you have the combined arms module to be able to actually, you know, create the, uh, a mission and actually do a mission as a tanker, you know, go in there and be a gun bunny and, and do it that way. You know, that'd be super cool. Um, another more great shots. And then finally, this is something that I know a lot of people are going to be super excited about. The fulcrum comes in in full fidelity. This is going to be big. And I think that this is going to be a good uh, addition to the Red 4 in terms of expanding that aircraft from flying it in the basic level to now uh, players are able to really maximize, min-max the, the, the aircraft flying it because now they have full fidelity controls. They can tinker with all the, the minute details of the aircraft to, to fly it at, at, uh, at the best of its ability in the game. And this is going to make things a bit challenging for uh, Blue 4. You know, I already know that the server is going to be filled with a lot of Red 4 people in this aircraft here going um, missile for uh, missile with uh, Blue 4. Um, it's been long stated that, you know, within DCS, and it's no fault of anyone, it's just kind of how it is um, in that, there, you know, in order for them to develop these, these aircraft, they have to have the... Uh, information publicly available declassified in order for them to develop these aircraft at the level that they do so if if there are documents that are still classified uh, especially in foreign countries you know that could be very problematic for them to develop it um, but they've managed to give us a full fidelity fulcrum and uh, this is going to be really cool and a great addition for Red 4. I think I think Red 4 needs like another two or three aircraft that are full fidelity to at least help balance things out. You know, they, they need something to go against the, the Viper, uh, the 18, uh, the uh, Tomcats, and, and, and of course the Strike Eagle. You know, if you get four good Red 4 full fidelity aircraft, I think that'll balance things out a bit more in these multiplayer servers. Um, um, so that's going to be really cool. Uh, so that's essentially the end of the DCS 2024 and beyond video. Overall, I, I, I definitely, you know, give this a, a for uh, the obviously the production value of it all. Uh, Nick's soothing voice. And of course, the trickle of breadcrumbs they, they gave us throughout the video showing us, you know, what's to come. Uh, some teasers and some reveals for the first time with the Iraq and the fulcrum here. Uh, I think people are excited. We saw the CH-46. We saw the Phantom. We know that there's going to be another good year of, of aircraft being rolled out, new maps being rolled out. Um, and uh, I think when you couple that with the further development of the AI, the further development of a dynamic campaign, when you factor in all the amazing uh uh, third-party mods that are out there for DCS. I recently covered Olymp DCS Olympus. There's DCC uh, um, and many other uh, apps that allow you to do dynamic campaigns or do some level of mission creation. This is just endless opportunities to get involved and create the things that you want to create. I'm super excited about this. Hopefully you guys are too. I would love to hear what you think about DCS 2024 and beyond uh, what you think about what I had to say about it down below in the comments. So feel free to drop a comment on the video. Uh, that's all I have for you guys in this one. Call sign Grammy out.